KX Storm Team. Welcome back, everyone. Meteorologist Stone Schaefer here. Starting off on our KX Cam overlooking Big Bismarck. Good morning, everyone in Bismarck. Nice clear skies this morning. Temperatures a little bit chilly. We can see that. They're a little bit nice for some people, but we're sitting in that upper mid to upper 40 range to the mid to lower 50s. Just a nice morning. Maybe a little bit breezy this morning, but temperatures for the highs today. What we're looking at mid to lower 70s. Could see some 80s down to the south. Make sure you stick around because I'll be going over when how much rain we'll be getting the rest of the week and what our temperature will be like. The second hour of Good Day Dakota continues right now it's gonna be a good day so let's get it started live from kx news this is good day dakota Good morning and welcome to Good Day Dakota. I'm Josh Minnie. And I'm Alicia Huck. Thank you for waking up with us on this Tuesday morning. Well, we are getting very close to the Bismarck Marathon. It starts uh, later this week and yeah. uh, it's going to be rainy. Uh, yeah, it might be rainy, it might have, but maybe it'll cool the runners down. Yeah. Now you're a runner. We got Joel Porter as a runner, but you're not marathoning it this year. I am. Uh, I'm going to stick away from it this year. It's just a lot of pounding on yeah. concrete. So I like to I like to stay on softer stuff like our trails. Porter, our, our former reporter anchor, Maddie Beer Temple, she ended up doing a whole marathon by mistake. She took a yeah. wrong turn. She was going to do a half. She made it. Yeah, Brooke Williams and I <laughs> memorable, were memorable. Yeah, Brooke Williams and I were there cheering exactly. people on, we, and, we, and we saw it happen. <laughs> That's good times. <laughs> so we'll see what this year brings. We'll have more on that coming up here later on Good Day Dakota. Leading local ideal option, a national leader in evidence-based outpatient treatment for addiction to opioids, has opened up a new clinic in Bismarck. The new clinic is located on West Division Avenue, offering treatment plans to stop opioid addiction. Each patient gets a chance to talk with a specialist who provides them with face-to-face -face patient care. Providers say the new clinic is in a more central location which will help better serve patients living in Bismarck and Mandan and there are no wait times for patients. And we are here to really help them along that journey of recovery. We are low barrier access to care. Um, we, do, we don't have any wait times. We are accepting new patients. Um, you know, we take walk-in patients. So we are ready and willing to meet people where they are. This is the second location for Ideal Option. The original location was on Airport Road, which is still open. According to Bismarck Police, officers seized nearly 10,000 pills containing either fentanyl or oxycodone in 2021. In other news this morning, a man is now in jail after he took off on a high-speed chase through Williston over the weekend. It happened Sunday morning around 8 o'clock when Williston police officers tried to pull over a fleeing driver. Williams County Sheriff's deputies assisted and say that the driver, James Magley, what took off heading west on Highway 2 and he was going over 100 miles an hour. Deputies say Magley was driving recklessly and even crashed into one of the deputies' patrol vehicles, causing some serious damage. Damage. They say Magley then crashed into a building before running off. Deputies chased him down and arrested him, and he is now charged with felony counts of reckless endangerment and fleeing, along with several misdemeanor charges, including possession of meth. Magley is now being held at the Williams County Jail, and Williams County Sheriff's uh, Office leaders say that they're thankful nobody was seriously hurt in that incident. Well, it's been a few weeks since school has been in session, and there's one type of unwanted behavior that can be found in any school district that's bullying. That's right. And new this morning, reporter Cameron Brewer joins us after speaking with a student who says no to the behavior and shares what one school district plans to do if they do encounter bullying. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. Traditionally, students have become victims of bullying in classrooms, hallways, and even in PE. But with technology at our fingertips, it's on a new level. Take a look. We probably see more student conflict. Uh, where students aren't getting along for whatever reason that doesn't always escalate into a full bullying situation. Century High School senior Olivia Simmons will take a stand against bullying if she were to ever witness it. I'd probably step in and kind of ask the situation in a calm manner to make sure that everything's going okay. And if it's not, then I would either get a teacher or an adult that's around. With technology surrounding our fingertips, it makes it easier and a lot quicker to spread those unwanted mean posts about someone at school. There's several hundred people that see it, and then you know, the way it permeates through that social media platform. Now, instead of just one, it's dozens. Of, of kids that may latch onto. According to stopbullying.gov, 
19% of students in grades 9th through 12 reported incidents of bullying. When people say that, like, everyone will say whatever they want behind a screen, that's so true. No one is really going to, like, say things to someone outside um, versus if they were on a screen. One local high school shared with KX News how the behavior of such is not tolerated and how there are consequences even off school grounds. Could be uh, some suspensions. It could get uh, very severe that uh, kids are actually removed and placed at a different school. The Bismarck Public School District has code of conduct pages on bullying, especially how to handle it away from the school district. You find out that there's some comments that are going back and forth both ways, and so it may not uh, fit the specific definition for bullying, but you do certainly have two kids that are in conflict. If students are a victim of bullying and may be afraid to step forward, the school district has forms and other methods to report it to school officials. Also, there's information available on identifying the signs if your child may be a victim of bullying. Just head over to our website, kxnet.com. Wow. Yeah. yeah, definitely something that has increased. And, it, you know, we even see adults on social media say things that they'd probably never say in person to yeah. somebody's face. But uh, they get this 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 sheet of metal that they feel separates, doesn't, it them. separates them from everything. And so it's really good that they're taking a stand here. And you have students like her who are strong enough to kind of stand up for others. I totally agree. I, I think it's important to have that leadership in the mm -hmm. school system, you know, and, and for students to be willing to come together and say no. Yep. Yep. Yeah. This is not going to be tolerated. This is not how we're going to handle these things. Absolutely. Here. It can be yeah. difficult, but yes. we need them out there. That's good. Yeah. Thank you very much for bringing that to light, Cameron. Still to come this morning on Good Day Dakota, are you looking to improve your diet and your health? Now is a great time to start. We'll tell you how coming up next and stay tuned for Stone and Schaefer's full forecast. We're going to get a look out over the region. It's a beautiful, but a little chillier morning out there. You're watching Good Day Dakota with Alicia Huck, Josh Many, and weather with meteorologist Stone Schaefer. Good Day Dakota, putting North Dakota first. Inflation, it's everywhere. But with the buy one famous star, get another one for a dollar deal at Hardee's. There's finally some relief. Bite into the famous star today, only at Hardee's. Okay, let's start with some clouds, some mountains over there, and finally a river. Hey, Dad, look. Looks like the perfect spot. American Family Insurance is here to protect your family on the road with the Travel Peace of Mind package. Get a quote or find an agent at AmFam.com. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Take the hunt to new heights with Muddy Blinds and accessories from Home of Economy. Muddy Blinds feature durable all-weather construction for a quiet, safe, and comfortable hunt. And of course, you'll find the guaranteed lowest price on a full line of accessories. Process, prepare, and protect your harvest with LEM products from Home of Economy. With everything from grinders to create that perfect sausage to vacuum sealers to lock in freshness, Home of Economy is your food prep headquarters. Shake up how you wake up with a bolder breakfast at Taco John's. Hit snooze on the same old, same old, and bite into crispy potato olays, bacon, and nacho cheese. It's always a good day for nacho cheese. Get two mean potato breakfast burritos for just six bucks, only at Taco John's. Professor Penny. I need to take a four cheese quesadilla back to my lab. I got you, girl. It is mathematically impossible to fit four cheeses inside. Better get two for research purposes. The new four cheese quesadilla at Taco John's. My name is Austin James. As a musician living with diabetes, finger sticks can be a real challenge. That's why I use the Freestyle Libre 2 system. With a painless one second scan, I know my glucose numbers without finger sticks. Now I'm managing my diabetes better and I've lowered my A1C from 8.2 to 6.7. Take the mystery out of managing your diabetes and lower your A1C. Now you know. Try it for free at freestylelibre.us. Next in Market Watch, numbers. Boring. In more delicious news, there's a buy one famous star, get one for a dollar deal at Hardee's. Bite into the famous star today, only at Hardee's. Magic City Dent Works, specializing in paintless dent repair and hail damage repair. MagicCityDentWorks.com. 
Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Stone Schaefer here. We're going to start this, this look on our KX quad cam network here. We can see Temperatures sitting in that lower 50s to mid 50s, maybe a little hazy on that Bowman cans. We still have quite a bit of wildfire smoke up in the atmosphere that's just going to hang around for the next couple of days, really. Your bus stop forecast as you put the kids on the bus, maybe you get on the bus or whatever you're doing this morning. We're looking at 50s and clear. And then as those kids get dropped off or you get dropped off, we're looking at partly sunny with temperatures in the 70s. And well, most people, they enjoy the sunlight. We're getting less and less than that. We obviously know that. 12 hours and 40 minutes, sunrise at 718 this morning. Morning. But as we get into the day, this is the first day of the year where our sunset is earlier than 8 p.m. Yesterday it was actually exactly at 8 p.m., but it is earlier now and it's going to start getting darker and darker as we get closer and closer to winter. Make sure you stick around because I'll be going over when we could see some rain this week and much, much more. Josh and Alicia. All right. Thank you, Stone. Well, September marks Self-Improvement Month and we're taking a look at some ways to implement that philosophy. That's right. Lauren Davis spoke with a dietitian about how you can easily improve your diet starting today. Every September marks Self-Improvement Month and in this life hack, I'm going to tell you how to improve your diet. Christina Hoganson is a registered dietitian and she helps people with intuitive eating. It helps people to get back in touch with like their hunger cues, um, body signals, things like that. Um, really focusing on slowing down and just seeing you know what it is that their body um, wants to eat and just kind of working on their relationship with food. Hunger cues are the way that your body lets you know when you're ready to eat like your stomach growling. But Hokinson says that's not the only signal that it's time to eat and the cues can be different for everyone. Feeling um, faint or um, hangry, I guess, like, you know, you get mad because you're actually really hungry. Um, you know, maybe feeling less clear in your thinking. And when it's time to eat, there are ways to incorporate nutritious foods into your diet. An easy way to do that is by slowly adding these types of foods to your everyday meals. Let's say you're having pizza tonight for dinner. Um, maybe you want to be adding more fruits and vegetables to your diet if that's something that you're working on or that you would you'd like to do. Uh, maybe you want to throw a side salad in there or um, let's say you're having oatmeal for breakfast. Um, frozen berries, you could just put some frozen berries in the oatmeal and microwave that and then you have added some fruit there. When people think of improving their diet, they often think of removing certain foods. Hokinson says people should put all foods on the same level. When we put, tend to put foods on a pedestal or think that they're a bad food, um, it tends to be the thing, kind of the only thing that we think about. You know, if you're like, hey, I'm never going to eat this again, usually the first thought is, about the thing that you're never going to eat again. So, um, so really neutralizing food and having a place where all foods can fit can be really helpful. For KX News, I'm Lauren Davis. And Hokinson owns Haven of Health, and her goal is to help to make people make peace with food and their bodies. And you can head to kxnet.com to learn more about that. And it's so true, what you can't, you want what you can't have. Mm -hmm. In and life. In, in life, yeah. exactly. But in moderation, most things are okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I do too. And still to come this morning on Good Day Dakota, KX News is your local election headquarters. Yeah, we have an interview with independent candidate for U.S. Senate, Dr. Rick Becker. That's coming up at 6 23 and meteorologist Stone Schaefer. It's going to give us a look at what looks to be a rainy week ahead of us. That's in your full forecast next. Your floor is the update they deserve with Menard's huge selection of flooring. Luptex Mills provides soft, luxurious carpet that is backed by a lifetime stain and fade warranty. Save 11% on all Luptex Mills carpet. Transform the look of any living space with vinyl blank flooring from Great Lakes. It's durable, waterproof, and easy to install, making it the perfect floor for an active lifestyle. Now 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. To keep putting North Dakota first, KX News at 6 is now a full hour. More local stories from across the region, local weather for where you live, and your local sports team scores and highlights. KX News, weekdays from 6 to 7. The Chef's Chicken Sandwiches at Panera, freshly prepared with clean ingredients, spark an explosion of the senses. So when you finally taste it, it just confirms, this is fantastic. And only at Panera. Zero dollar delivery fee for a limited time. Work without compromise with steel battery power. Take power earlier into the day and later into the evening. With the performance and durability you need to get the job done. 
Battery power made by steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. The Dakota Territory Air Museum celebrates the women with the right stuff. Women Wine and Wings will introduce you to barnstorming stunt pilot Poncho Barnes. Meet Nick Spark, writer and producer of the documentary The Legend of Poncho Barnes and the Happy Bottom Riding Club. Don't miss this celebration featuring women on the cutting edge of flight. Enjoy wine and hors d'oeuvres, all presented in the spirit of these pioneers of aviation. Women Wine and Wings, September 14th at the Dakota Territory Air Museum. How do weather balloons provide data so meteorologists can make a forecast or predict a storm? You have weather questions? How do tornadoes form and how are they rated? I have answers. Can you explain a severe weather map? Each week I'll answer questions like these and more on WeatherWise. So can it really be hotter in North Dakota than in Florida? Find out on WeatherWise, Wednesday mornings on Good Day Dakota. Sponsored by Roscoe Crane and Rigging. Storm Team. 616 on your Tuesday morning here. Been talking about less daylight during the day, Stone. And uh, silver linings, I always try to find the silver linings, yeah. is when we go to bed now, yes. we're going to have actually no sun in the sky to keep us awake. Yeah. Yes. Have yeah. you done the blackout curtains No, nope, I'm not going to. I don't think I need it. See, yeah, you, you're made for this shift. Yeah. You <laughs> are, yeah. You're one of the few. I, I am too. I'll, I have to say that. Josh, that's what we had. No, <laughs> Night no, out I, over I, here. I've been fine so far, so we'll see. But starting this yeah. off on our KX Cam and Bowman, maybe a little bit hazy. Just to have that smoke from those wildfires out west just lingering in the sky. You won't have perfect blue skies today. Just that that light haze, smoky color. Just just making the skies a little bit discolored today, but temperatures now sitting at 50 degrees. You have a north wind at 10 miles per hour, and your dew point is sitting at 50 degrees. And right now, in Williston. Well, you can't really see the sky. It's still a little bit too dark, but also sitting at 50 degrees. The northeast wind at 13 miles per hour, and your wind chills at 50 degrees. Your satellite and radar here, and we can see clear skies pretty much throughout the whole state. Maybe a little bit of cloud cover moving in just east of Williston. Maybe some pop-up sprinkles or two there, but those are pretty much gone and dissipated, and pretty much today will be a dry one. That won't be the case for the rest of the week. Temperatures right now, it's a, it's a chillier one. We're looking at upper 40s to maybe some lower 50s to mid 50s. So pretty variable still across the state. We're just starting to get colder in the morning, something as we'll see more and more as we get more into fall and into the winter. For your winds right now, it is a little breezy. We're looking at 5 to 15 mile per hour winds from the northwest. And those winds, well, they're going to pick up today. We look at our, ten, or our wind trends here. We see about 11 miles per hour this morning, and those will continue to pick up until the upper teens, about 16 miles per hour this afternoon. And you'll see a wind gust here, there, up to 25, maybe 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit more breezy. You could see some wind gusts tomorrow at 35 to maybe 40 miles per hour. So it's a windy start to the week here, but your highs today, a lot cooler. We're looking at upper 60s to the lower mid 70s. 70s, maybe some 80s, just wanting to peek through down to the south, but those will start to move out. We'll have a cooler week this week. For your precision cast, clear skies, so just some spotty cloud cover. That will continue to move through and out the area today into the afternoon, into tomorrow morning. That's when we're going to see our first rain chance. It's going to be up in that northwestern corner of the state. That'll be the first area that sees that rain chance. Then once we continue through Wednesday morning into Wednesday midday, that's in the afternoon, that's when we start to see pretty much most of the state is going to have that rain chance. And that rain chance is pretty much going to linger across Thursday into Friday morning, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There'll be a pop-up chance here or there. We can see our rain, potential rain, light traces through Wednesday afternoon, but as we get into Thursday, Thursday morning into Friday or Thursday afternoon into Friday morning. That's when we start to see our biggest rain chances, maybe up to an inch south of Minot. So some areas will have more, some areas will have less. We'll keep an eye on that. Wednesday, your temperatures are pretty nice. Going to be in that mid to upper 70s. Again, still some 80s wanting to hang out. Maybe 92 down here to the south. So still got some areas that want to stay warm for your Dixon three-day forecast. We can see we have that cool down or that little bit of a warm up right before we get right back into those 70s. Could be a little bit breezy tomorrow. Again, that 20% chance of rain late in the evening, maybe into the night. And your Williston, same thing here. A little bit breezy the next two days. We'll see. Again, that 20% chance late. And then as the temperatures drop down to 67, for your Minot seven day forecast, we can see this big long range of rain. Pretty much rain every day until Sunday. Then by Monday, we'll be pretty much maybe entering a dry pattern, be 77 and sunny, maybe a little bit breezy. And then for your Bismarck seven day, same thing here. Could have some thunderstorms Thursday night into Friday morning, but that rain chance mid 70s will pretty much be here till Monday, where we'll be partly sunny back to 77 on Monday.
Yeah, no. I mean, the temperatures look great. Mm -hmm. We need the maintenance rain. Yep, yep. I think it's looking good. Yeah, yeah. All it right. definitely is. Thank uh, you, Stone. And keep it with us here this morning on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead, KX News, we sat down with independent U.S. Senate candidate Dr. Rick Becker. That's right. We'll bring you the interview coming up after the break. Also, we have a new photo from the community. This one's from Richard Craig in the Magic City. Thank you, Richard. And be sure to like and follow us on Facebook for all the latest photos, news, and weather. And stick with us. We have more news to come. Control of your fields with pre harvest burn down by Dakota Agronomy. Burn down allows for a quicker, more manageable harvest and also helps with perennial weed control. Call today to line up your pre harvest burn down with Dakota Agronomy Partners. Professional knowledge, positive results. Hash browns are the french fries of breakfast. Who says it's not french fries that are the hash browns of lunch and dinner? That's also true. Right now, buy one sausage McMuffin or hash browns and get the second one for just a dollar. Banks like to talk about assets, so we thought we'd show you some of ours. These are the people who work tirelessly to keep your dreams on track. They advise. They volunteer. They coach. They lead. To us, they're our greatest assets. Go with community. Go with the people you can trust. Go with Dakota Bank. So, what do you think? We're prepared to offer cash. When you get great deals at Denny's, $5.99, you'll start to expect great deals everywhere. New all-day diner deals starting at $5.99. Ten delicious meals only at Denny's. Hour-by-hour hour forecasts, live radar, weather alerts. With the KX Storm Team app, you're protected 24-7 with a notification system you customize to automatically adjust to your location. Get the app. Get the alerts. Download the KX Storm Team app today. Hey, are we gonna fit? There we go. At American Family Insurance, we're here to carefully protect your dreams. <laughs> All right, open your eyes. <sighs> Welcome home. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you later. Save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance today. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. American Family Insurance. KX News at 4 is for you. Anchor Joel Porter looks at what's new in tech, the classroom, North Dakota destinations, local news, and meteorologist Tom Schrader delivers your weather forecast. KX News at 4, putting North Dakota first, weekdays on KX. Leading local tonight, the shelter in Bismarck has now... And leading local in other news is news at 9. Leading local, a haze... Leading local, North Dakotans could be voting... Leading local for the communities we serve. KX News, putting North Dakota first. Hash browns are the french fries of breakfast. Who says it's not french fries that are the hash browns of lunch and dinner? That's also true. Right now, buy one sausage McMuffin or hash browns and get the second one for just a dollar. The best way to wake up in the morning is with Good Day Dakota. 623, welcome back. KX News is your local election headquarters, and leading up to November, we'll be interviewing several candidates and going through what's on the ballot. This candidate is considered an impactful intellectual leader within North Dakota conservative politics, but he's also been called a threat to the state Republican Party. I sat down with Dr. Rick Becker to discuss his independent bid for U.S. Senate. Dr. Rick Becker joins us to discuss his independent candidacy for U.S. Senate. Dr. Becker, thank you for being here. You bet. Happy to be here, Josh. Now, Dr. Becker, uh, you're considered to be an important, impactful, intellectual leader within the conservative movement within North Dakota. Why do you consider yourself the true conservative in this race, and where does Senator Hoven fall short? Well, you know, the word conservative means something. And uh, people who, I guess, think of Republicans as conservative just automatically assume they go together. And they don't. Republican is simply a political party. Now, it's supposed to be adhering to conservative principles. It's in the platform. But there are a lot of elected officials who don't hold those principles true. And so it's not that I, I want to say true and not true. It's just who 
espouses those principles, who really believes in those principles of limited government and limited taxation, maximizing freedom, uh, you know, all of these types of things that are so critical to making uh, society and, and, um, and our communities prosperous and, and, and healthy. And so, yeah, I think I have 10 years of history of voting on bills, and I've been staunch, and I think that's why it, how I get separated out is that I stand by those principles 100% of the time, and I have viewed the other Republicans as being on my team, and I hold myself and I hold them to a higher standard. I expect them to follow those principles, that platform. Many of them don't. I hold them accountable, and I'm not afraid to, you know, call things out. So, uh, when we look at John Hoven, the incumbent, uh, he has a long track record. Twelve years now in the Senate, ten years before that as governor, a long track record, yes, as a Republican, however, not as a conservative. And, and his voting record shows that. He has been huge on government spending, on subsidies, cronyism, corporate welfare. Government, well, I'll put it this way to you. Government, in his eyes, is the solution to many, many, if not all, problems. In my eyes, I'll, I'll borrow from Ronald Reagan. Government is many, many times the problem. Now, you've been characterized as using smash mouth, bare knuckle politics. You've called on conservative leaders to be uncompromising with the left. What do you say to the claim that you're a counter revolutionary threat? to con the establishment conservative movement in North Dakota? Well, I am a threat to the establishment movement because I hold these principles firm and I hold those people accountable. They don't like that. They like to play within their country club type of atmosphere. They like to play the good old boy game. It's the same thing that goes on in Washington, D.C. I have no part of that. I call it out. People in North Dakota, people across the United States appreciate that. That's what they're looking for. The establishment, whether it's in North Dakota or the rest of the uh, country, uh, can't stand that because that shows them for who they are. Now, will you call on Hoven to debate? At 100 percent. We, I think it's good for North Dakota. He is a long-standing incumbent, but people rarely hear from him. Um, and I think it's only good for the electorate to be informed. And they have three candidates in this race. They should hear from all of them. They should hear the differences. And when they go to the polling booth, know who it is that the right person uh, is for them. All right, Dr. Rick Becker, thank you so much for your time. You bet. Happy. All right, switching gears here. It's a, it's a pretty nice morning to get our yeah. pups out for a walk, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it definitely is a cooler morning this morning and a cooler day to get your dog out at any point for a walk. But for your dog walking forecast, we have Nixon here from Marshall. Thanks, Marshall, for sending this cute pup in. But we, like I said, temperatures are going to stay cool in that mid-70s, upper 70 range. We'll have some cloud cover, maybe not as sunny today. But temperatures, like I said, going to stay cooler than yesterday. We're looking at mid to upper 70s and some mid to upper 60s and lower 70s. So pretty variable across the state from the north to the south. But for your 10-day temperature trend, we can see we're going to be a little bit hotter tomorrow. We'll have that drop down, though, on Thursday into those 60s. We'll climb right back up to the upper 70s and drop right back down to the 60s. So we're sort of like a roller coaster right now going up and down. But it'll be nice. We do have a lot of rain this week. Make sure you stick around because I'll be talking to you more about how much rain we could see and much, much more, Josh and Alicia. Some good temperatures to enjoy. Thank yeah. you, Stone. And when we return on Good Day Dakota, this is a special weekend for hunters, both young and active duty military. Yeah, we'll tell you how you can get involved coming up. Being local tonight, the shelter in Bismarck has now... And leading local in other news is news at 9. Leading local, a haze... Leading local, North Dakotans could be voting... Leading local for the communities we serve. KX News, putting North Dakota first. KX News at 4 is for you. Anchor Joel Porter looks at what's new in tech, the classroom, North Dakota destinations, local news, and meteorologist Tom Schrader delivers your weather forecast. KX News at 4, putting North Dakota first, weekdays on KX. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job, so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get a $500 cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Visit westdakotachevy.com. You have to look at stories in terms of what 
matters to regular people. Get away from the fringes and the special interests. There is no reason to magnify the smallest voice just because of how angry and vicious it is. Magnify what matters. Bring to light what is being ignored. You will watch this show and see that the job is done the right way. We don't play the game. We change the game. We're the Honky Tonk Angels. And we'll be bringing our musical comedy called Honky Tonk Angels to the Old Town Hall Theater in downtown Medora. Open in September 15th and running through November 6th. Mm -hmm. We formed this band and dedicated our career to singing the classic music of Loretta Lynn, Tammy Wynette, <laughs> oh, and Dolly Parton. Plus, stay and dine in luxury at the Rough Riders Hotel and Theodore's Dining Room in downtown Medora. Book your stay at Medora.com. Alicia Hawk, leading local news on Good Day. Over the horizon, just behind me, it's going to be a nice day out, maybe a little bit cool. We'll have this at haze from the wildfire smokes still in the air, but temperatures right now sitting in that mid to upper 40s, some mid to lower 50s, and maybe some upper 50s still hanging around this morning, just trying to get to our highs for the day. Well, those highs are going to be a lot cooler. We're looking at mid to lower 70s. Could see some 80s down to the south. Make sure you stick around because I'll be going over how the rest of the week will look and much, much more. Good Day Dakota continues right now. Good Day Dakota continues on KX News. At 631, welcome back. There's a lot happening this weekend in the North Dakota outdoors. Starting Friday, youth deer season opens across the state. And on Saturday and Sunday, kids 15 and under will get a chance to hunt waterfowl. Plus, the special veteran and active military personnel waterfowl season is also set to begin. And the youth waterfowl weekend is open to legally licensed residents and non-resident youth waterfowl hunters. And also this weekend, veterans and members of the armed forces on active duty including members of the National Guard and Reserves on active duty, may hunt ducks, geese, coots, and mergansers all statewide. For both hunts, the daily limits are the same as regular season. If you're interested, a Game and Fish Department has a virtual duck hunting mentor webpage with all the basics, including license requirements, regulations, gear recommendations, and tips for finding a place to hunt. And as we just found out, the duck numbers are good in our yeah, state. Yeah, that's right. 26% uh, higher, yeah. I think, than most of the nation. So, yeah, good. Good news there. Well, do you have your running shoes ready? You better because the longest running marathon in North Dakota begins in just three days here. Yeah, the Bismarck Marathon's 41st year kicks off Thursday with a kids race. Friday will be the 5K for a shorter course. Saturday is the full marathon where runners will start at Cottonwood Park. And this year, committee members are expecting up to 3,000 people in the marathon. So preparation for the marathon began as early as last year, right after the 2021 marathon ended. And it's, it's really just a never-ending cycle of, of monthly meetings. And then as we get closer, it's, it's meeting every single week and, um, and trying to figure out what the, the best um, the best way to set up the route, best way to tear down the route, and with a lot of help from our volunteers, um, Bismarck Marathon Weekend is a breeze. Last year, the marathon raised about $55,000, and with more participants this year, they're expecting an even better turnout. And all of the proceeds of the weekend's events will go to local charities and nonprofits that help out the Bismarck Mandan community. Yeah. So even though a little bit of rain, I think our marathon runners and our hunters are all pretty tough folks. Well, so. yeah, you know, when you get out there and start huffing and puffing, you, yeah. you warm up real fast. Yeah, for sure. It might be <laughs> kind of nice for them. Yeah, that's right. Keep it with us here this morning on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead, a historic trophy made its way to our state. Yeah, we'll tell you the story that brought the Stanley Cup here. Coming up next. Surgical, cosmetic, surgical, finally board certified dermatology care close to home. Call SkinWin Dermatology today. The Dakota Territory Air Museum celebrates the women with the right stuff. Women Wine and Wings will introduce you to barnstorming stunt pilot Poncho Barnes. Meet Nick Spark, writer and producer of the documentary The Legend of Poncho Barnes and the Happy Bottom Riding Club. Don't miss this celebration featuring women on the cutting edge of flight. Enjoy wine and hors d'oeuvres, all presented in the spirit of these pioneers of aviation. Women and wine and wings September 14th at the Dakota Territory Air Museum. Got concrete that's cracking and settling? Contact Rough Rider Mud Jacking to get that driveway, step, garage floor, patio, curb, and more repaired. 
Mud jacking is cheaper and faster than replacing the concrete by helping stabilize and strengthen the existing slab. Rough Rider Mud Jacking has been repairing residential, commercial, and industrial concrete for over 30 years. You can trust us to get the job done. Give us a call today. Rough Rider Mud Jacking in Minot or Bismarck. My name is Austin James. As a musician living with diabetes, finger sticks can be a real challenge. That's why I use the Freestyle Libre 2 system. With a painless one second scan, I know my glucose numbers without finger sticks. Now I'm managing my diabetes better and I've lowered my A1C from 8.2 to 6.7. Take the mystery out of managing your diabetes and lower your A1C. Now you know. Try it for free at freestylelibre.us. Homelessness does not just happen in the big city. Homelessness affects members here in our small communities as well. Here at Project B, we are the only year-round low-barrier homeless shelter in western North Dakota. With three dozen people on our wait list, an aging building, and over 2,600 nights of shelter provided so far in 2022, we need your help. Please consider donating to our Broadway Circle Project so that we can continue to empower and uplift those less fortunate. Now, more Good Day Dakota on KX News. Hey, it's 6.35. Welcome back. The oldest trophy in North America has made its way to Mandan. Yeah, all thanks to a local coach who played a big part in winning the Stanley Cup. Yeah, our Luke Gamble has a story. It's one of the most iconic trophies in all of sports, and it's just within reaching distance. More importantly, it brought thousands of visitors to Starion Sports Complex in Mandan on Monday, and it made one local man's dream come true. Colorado has won the Stanley Cup. That's a moment that won't be forgotten by many, but especially not Mandan native Casey Bond, the head strength and conditioning coach for the Colorado Avalanche for the past 10 seasons. So then all of a sudden there's two minutes left and looks like you're going to win, counts down. So then it is surreal. You run on the ice and everybody's going crazy, but it takes a long time to set in. Bond has had two and a half months for it to set in, but all he wanted was a chance to bring the cup home an opportunity that came through at the last second, but will be cherished forever. People have been asking how many times it's been in North Dakota. I know it's been to Grand Forks once. I don't know beyond that. Like, it's uh, it's such a huge deal. And I mean, any anybody that grows up playing this sport, it, it, it's a dream. It's a dream come true for me to just be a, a small part of it, but then to be able to have a day with it and bring it and share it here. And this is home. This is where I'm from. Bond says the moments spent with his family during this time have been the most important, with many traveling several states to see him carry the cup. The coolest part then was when they finally let the families come down and my wife was there. Our, our, our wives were all down and could come on the ice and just spend that time after the game. That was, the, that was when it really started to set in. But for the people of North Dakota, both old and young alike, it's an opportunity to celebrate an achievement and strive for something of their own. It just uh, brings the notoriety of the game of hockey. You know, in this region, doesn't happen very often. Um, we're going to take advantage of what we can. Casey and his family spent several hours hanging out with their family, friends, and fans in Mandan on Monday, and he even got a chance to take the trophy to his late father's gravesite to spend some time with him as well. In Mandan, for KX, I'm Luke Gamble. Wow, what an exciting opportunity there. I know my sister and her family were there. They lived in Colorado for several years, and they're yeah. big Avalanche fans. What about you, uh, Stone? Are you a hockey fan? You know, it's the one sport I've never really gotten to. I, I watch the playoffs. I, I, if I am a fan of any team, it would be the Dallas Stars. Not mm -hmm. a Detroit Red Wings fan. I've always had to hear how great they were, and they never won anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. You, gotta, you have to root for the underdog sometimes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a, we're not to, well, I guess it is hockey, hockey season. But I think about ice. Yeah. We're not there not yet quite, to not, outdoor not ice. Not quite yet. <laughs> not quite yet. But we take a look at our quad cam view here, and we can see temperatures. Above freezing, thank, thank you. But we're sitting at 50s, mid 50s, some lower upper 40s right now, a little bit breezy. But as we get to the day today, we'll be a nice one. As you take your kids out to the bus, we'll look at them clear. Temperatures in that 50s range. And as they get dropped off this morning, we'll be looking at partly sunny into the 70s. We'll take a look at your whole day here. 9 a.m., so we'll be about, like I said, 50s, partly cloudy skies. We'll have a northeast wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. That wind will pick up a bit by noon. You'll be looking at temperatures in the 60s, still partly cloudy. But as you get into the about 5 p.m. tonight, that's when we're going to start to 
average see those 70s you'll have that wind still picking up northeast to 10 to 20 miles per hour but your cloud cover will increase just a tad bit through the afternoon and into the night as we get closer and closer to really those rain chances they start to increase as we get through the night into tomorrow josh alicia all right thank you very much stone and there's still plenty of news and weather ahead on good day dakota including as the school year continues it's important to watch for signs of bullying yeah, we'll tell you more about the pervasive and evolving problem coming up after the break and we have a new photo from the community this one's from richard craig in the magic city thank you richard a gorgeous sight there and be sure to like and follow us on facebook for all the latest photos news and weather and stick with us here meteorologist stone schaefer is going to tell us more about this uh, cooler weather ahead and rainy days it's all coming up first western bank and trust you can bank on us coming up today on studio 701 there's a new baseball team on deck in minot and you can step up to the plate to vote on the new team name. Plus, we grill up a tasty new recipe with Mac from 3B Meats. You don't want to miss out on those juicy details. For all that and much more fun, join us on Studio 701. KX News at 4 is for you. Community events, North Dakota destinations, local news, and your weather forecast. KX News at 4, putting North Dakota first, weekdays on KX. You're invited to the 11th Annual Dakota Hope Clinic Fundraising Banquets on September 19th and 20th in Minot and Stanley. Come and be inspired by keynote speaker Ryan Dobson, who works every day towards strengthening families and marriages. Guests will also hear a testimonial story from one of the clinic's clients, share a meal, and have the opportunity to donate to the work of the clinic. Registration is required to attend these adult only banquets and guests must RSVP by September 12th. Visit dakotahope.org slash events or call 701-852-4675 for more information and to register. KX and local establishments invite you to be our guest. Get $50 in gift certificates for just $25. Go to kxnet.com now and click on be our guest to see what great offers are available. Certificates are limited so check back often. Save money and support local businesses with Be Our Guest at KX. Visit the Be Our Guest page now at kxnet.com. Minot Automotive Center is here to help. Whether you're looking for a work-ready lifted truck or a sleek muscle car, Minot Automotive Center has the right vehicle for you. With the largest selection in the area, you can't buy the wrong vehicle. Don't miss out on our Ram Power Days with our lineup of custom lifted new Ram trucks. Visit us online at MinotAutomotive.com and ask one of our sales experts about our easy order program. Get your new Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram at Minot Automotive Center. Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It's 6.42. Welcome back. School has been in session now for a couple of weeks, and there is one type of unwanted behavior that can be found in any school district, and that's bullying. Yeah, new this morning. Reporter Cameron Brewer joins us after speaking with a student who says no to the behavior and shares what one school district plans to do if they encounter bullying. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. Traditionally, students have become victims of bullying in classrooms, hallways, and even in PE. But with technology at our fingertips, it's on a new level. Take a look. We probably see more student conflict uh, where students aren't getting along for whatever reason. It doesn't always escalate into a full bullying situation. Century High School senior Olivia Simmons will take a stand against bullying if she were to ever witness it. I'd probably step in and kind of ask the situation in a calm manner to make sure that everything's going okay. And if it's not, then I would either get a teacher or an adult that's around. With technology surrounding our fingertips, it makes it easier and a lot quicker to spread those unwanted mean posts about someone at school. There's several hundred people that see it, and then you know, the way it permeates through that social media platform. Now, instead of just one, it's dozens. Of, of kids that may latch onto. According to stopbullying.gov, 
19% of students in grades 9th through 12 reported incidents of bullying. When people say that, like, everyone will say whatever they want behind a screen, that's so true. No one is really going to, like, say things to someone outside um, versus if they were on a screen. One local high school shared with KX News how the behavior of such is not tolerated and how there are consequences even off school grounds. It could be uh, some suspensions. It could get uh, very severe that uh, kids are actually removed and placed at a different school. The Bismarck Public School District has code of conduct pages on bullying, especially how to handle it away from the school district. You find out that there's some comments that are going back and forth both ways, and so it may not uh, fit the specific definition for bullying, but you do certainly have two kids that are in conflict. If students are a victim of bullying and may be afraid to step forward, the school district has forms and other methods to report it to school officials. Also, there's information available on identifying the signs if your child may be a victim of bullying. Just over to our website, kxnet.com. Yeah, you know, um, a bully can really mess up a, a work environment, a school environment. Mm -hmm. um, I love the fact that they're monitoring it, staying on track of it, but just trying to clear yourself from the bully's perspective, from judgment. I mean, that just For makes sure. your, you know, search your heart a little bit. Yep, they have that shield and not afraid, yeah. but uh, it's great that they have these resources. So if they are afraid to come out and, and share with an adult that they're being bullied, yeah. that they have, have other avenues. Yeah, you know, Josh and Alicia, I mean, times, they, they have changed. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe looking back about 10 or 15 years ago, uh, even before smartphones became a thing, yep. just with the cell phones, you know, just, it'd be like a chain message of humiliating right. somebody. But now with social media, it's just is taking it to a whole totally different platform. I mean, yeah. information can get out there within seconds. And you it's know. there, and it sticks there. Yes. Yeah. So it's good to bring that to light. We appreciate it, Cameron. Yeah. Thank you, Cameron. Okay, turning to weather now, Stone, uh, we're going to get a little rain coming our way, but maybe not today. Is that yeah, right? definitely, definitely not today. It's going to be a drier one today, but as we get into tomorrow morning, that's when we'll start seeing more and more of those rain chances pop up. We start this off on our KX Cam in Watford City. Good morning to everyone out there. Not so much sunshine there yet, but temperatures right now sitting at 50 degrees. You have a northeast wind at 9 miles per hour, and your dew point is sitting at 43 degrees. And in Dickinson, well, maybe a little lighter there right now, but temperatures are sitting at 50 degrees, a north northeast wind at 10 miles per hour, and you have your dew point sitting at 43 degrees. Satellite radar, nothing much, maybe some cloud cover just moving in from the west. I'll continue to move into the day. We'll have some heavier cloud cover today and pretty much the rest of the week. Your temperatures right now, we're sitting pretty nice. We're looking at those mid to upper 40s to those mid to lower 50s, so still pretty variable, about 10 degree difference from the north and the south, but it's a nice morning. Still no, like I said, still dry right now. That won't be the case maybe for the next couple Couple of days for your wind speeds though it is a little bit breezy out we're looking at five to maybe 15 mile per hour winds from the northwest those will continue to pick up during the day we see this on our wind trend here we start off at about 11 miles per hour in the morning and then as we get through the day those will start to continue to pick up to about 15 to 16 miles per hour some people could see higher you could see up to 20 mile per hour wind trends and you could see some gusts up to about 25 30 miles per hour today and be a little bit faster tomorrow for those wind gust speeds and for your highs today it's a lot cooler than yesterday we're looking at upper 60s to the lower to mid 70s maybe some 80s down to the south still trying to stick their head into the area but we'll definitely get that cool down for the rest of the week and it'll be a nicer maybe wetter week as we keep continue on all right not too shabby thank you stone and now let's check out our national day calendar today we celebrate our favorite uncle and the nickname that has stuck for two centuries welcome to september 13th on the national day calendar when we hear the name uncle sam we immediately picture the serious man in the star-spangled hat, all decked out in red, white, and blue. Did you know that Uncle Sam is based on a real person? During the War of 1812, Samuel Wilson of Troy, New York, worked in a meatpacking plant. The factory provided American troops with food for the war effort, and thus their barrels and crates were stamped U.S. The stamping was Samuel's job, and his co-workers began joking that U.S. stood for Uncle Sam. The joke was on them, however, as the name stuck and became a symbol of our nation's pride and strength. On National Uncle Sam Day, celebrate your own patriotic spirit and be careful with nicknames that can last a lifetime. I'm Marlo Anderson with the National Day Calendar. See you again tomorrow as we celebrate every day. 
And for a list of all the national days you can celebrate today, head over to our website at kxnet.com. All right, when we come back on Good Day Dakota, we'll take you all the way up to 7 o'clock. We've got everything you need to know as you head out the door to start your Tuesday morning. Stick with us. Commercial and residential leasing. Call first Minot Management, serving the Minot area for over 60 years. The best thing about the ground round? There's something for everyone. Apps, soups, salads, burgers, popcorn, and don't forget drinks, featuring the coldest beer in town. The Ground Round, the good times meeting place. Leading local tonight, the shelter in Bismarck has now... And leading local in other news is news at 9. Leading local, a hazel... Leading local, North Dakotans could be voting... Leading local for the communities we serve. KX News, putting North Dakota first. Norse Host Fest concert lineup is truly amazing. And now you can see all these fantastic artists at a lower price. For the Fest is offering a limited number of discount multi-day entertainment passes from September 8th through the 18th. Gala Day Pass, only $99. Nordic Night Pass, only $199. Get more entertainment for less thanks to these four great Minot businesses. Purchase your discount passes online at ForTheFest.com. Four companies, for the community, for the Fest. Turn big jobs into big fun. Our battery 8K homeowner system starts at just $199.99. Real steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. Pledge of Allegiance is an expression of patriotism and commitment to our country. KX News is proud to present the Daily Pledge of Allegiance. The Daily Pledge of Allegiance, honoring those who honor our nation's flag. Sponsored by Eastgate and Parkway Funeral Service. Now, your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back, everyone. Meteorologist Stone Schaefer here, starting off on our precision cast. And we can see some spotty clouds this morning, some heavier clouds off to the west. That'll continue throughout the day today, into the night, into tomorrow morning. That's when we'll see our first really chance of those pop up showers just in that northwestern portion of the state. Maybe a little bit of sprinkle here or there. But as we continue through the night or into the morning, into midday tomorrow, that's sort of western, still going to have that best chance of that rain. And then as we continue through the day on Wednesday into Thursday morning, that's one of the central portion of the state into the eastern sides will have the best chance for that rain and that rain chance will really just sort of hang around continue to be a day Thursday night into Friday that's when we can see a thunderstorm or two Thursday night into Friday morning but like I said that rain's gonna continue pretty much over the weekend and maybe even into early next week your potential rain chance we're looking at maybe just a trace through this portion of the state but that will increase and maybe up to an inch just in areas south of Minot so some areas will have more than what this is showing and obviously some areas will have less. For your highs tomorrow, we're looking at pretty nice, looking at the up, mid to upper 70s. We'll have some maybe mid to upper 80s, maybe some 90s too down to the south, those heat, just trying to stick in the area. For your Dickinson three-day forecast here, we can see the temperatures, they're really just starting to rise a bit. They'll drop right back down to the 70s. Have that chance of rain Wednesday. And then in Williston, same thing really, but temperatures not as high tomorrow. They will drop down to 60s though on Thursday. For your buy not seven-day forecast, we can see pretty much rain the rest of the week, but by the end of the weekend and starting next week, we'll be in the 77s and maybe a little bit sunny for Bismarck. That rain maybe extends a little longer, but it'll be a nice temperature-wise weekend into next week, and those temperatures and rain will just linger around much longer. Thank you, Stone. Ideal Option, a national leader in evidence-based outpatient treatment for addiction to opioids, has opened up a new clinic in Bismarck. The new clinic is located on West Division Avenue, offering treatment plans to stop opioid addiction. Each patient gets a chance to talk with a specialist who provides them with face-to-face -face patient care. Providers say the new clinic is in a more central location, which will help better serve patients living in Bismarck and Mandan, and there are no wait times for patients. This is the second location for Ideal Option. The original location is on Airport Road, which is still open. 
North Dakota is set to receive $6 million after an investigation showed the e-cigarette company Juul misled customers about its nicotine content and marketing towards kids. So just how prevalent is vaping in North Dakota? And is vaping really helping people to quit smoking as the vaping industry claims? According to the North Dakota Department of Health and Human Services, that depends on your definition of quit. They say that many people merely transfer products and these products all have nicotine, which is addictive. According to the data, more adults in the state now vape than smoke. These are people that may have never considered smoking who are now vaping, who are addicted to nicotine because a lot of the vaping products, starting with Juul, um, had the means to modify the, the chemical makeup of the products to make them more addictive. So we're seeing people with a serious nicotine addiction. Charvat says that whether you use cigarettes, cigars, vape or chew, it's still nicotine and the addiction is there and will never go away unless you treat it. Uh, we are seeing an increase in adults and youth who want to quit vaping and find it you just don't stop because it's the nicotine addiction. Um, it hasn't been any easier uh, to quit. It's still that same addiction. And he says not to give up because it can often take multiple attempts to quit. So if you would like to end a nicotine addiction, you can contact your health care provider or visit our website at kxnet.com for information on ND Quits. Organizations serving people with disabilities made their first step towards solving a transportation problem impacting our community. With a cab company, Minot Public Transit and Soros, Soros Basin Transportation are on their own in getting people in Ward County to their destinations. City Transit operates from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and the Surus Basin Transportation System that provides scheduled rides gets booked quickly. With the closing of Central Cab after our ride, companies like Uber and Lyft usually cannot accommodate people with disabilities. By 2023, the city of Minot plans to have additional routes, but no plans have been made for extending hours or days because of employee shortages. Meetings between organizations serving people with disabilities and the city of Minot are being held to brainstorm ways to serve all people in the area at all times. Minot City Transit is the most affordable option for transportation, but outside of regular hours, you can call Surus Basin Transportation to schedule a ride. And now we'll look at our top stories today. Queen Elizabeth II leaves Scotland for the final time today. A Royal Air Force plane will take her coffin to England, where it will then be met by a royal family, the royal family at Buckingham Palace. Through the night, thousands of Scots paid their final respects to the Queen of St. Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. Ukraine says it reclaimed an area the size of Rhode Island since it began its offensive to push back the Russian invasion. Ukrainian officials say they have also captured a record number of troops and are running out of space to hold prisoners of war. Ukrainian forces are being hailed as heroes as new atrocities against civilian targets are being unveiled in the reclaimed land. And multiple sources tell CBS News that more than 30 people associated with former President Trump have received federal grand jury subpoenas, some as recently as last week. The subpoenas branch into three different areas. First, the effort efforts to submit fake electors to Congress ahead of January 6th. Second, how money was raised and spent in the effort to overturn the 2020 election. And finally, into Trump's Stop the Steal rally on January 6th. And coming up after Good Day Dakota, CBS Mornings will bring you more on those big stories of the day. Well, you may remember the hit Netflix series Squid Game. Well, now you can have the chance to compete in an actual Squid Game. Yeah, there's a new reality TV show looking for contestants to compete in their own version of Squid Game. Netflix is looking for 456 players, just like in the show. Well, if you haven't watched it, Squid Game, it centers around contestants who have dire financial struggles and are hoping to win billions of dollars competing against each other in typical childhood games such as Red Light, Green Light. However, unlike the original Netflix show where contestants are eliminated through death, the company said the worst fate is going home empty-handed. Yeah, and Netflix is looking for North Dakotans who think they have what it takes to bring home a cool $4.2 million. To learn how you can sign up for the new reality show, go to kxnet.com. I, I, I saw that show. We talked about this. It's horrifying. Yeah. So, But this one will be hopefully a much more fun level of our old childhood games. Yeah. Simon says, Cameron, what do you think?
<laughs> well, Simon says, I think we all should take a shot. I mean, 4.2, that's, yeah, that's, that's a lot of money now. That's a, that's a sweet dollar amount, though, yes. that's for yeah. sure. Well, you know, they are casting in North Dakota. The people here are used to pretty rugged weather, but yep. not today. So no, much. not mm -hmm. today. Starting with our last look here. On our temperatures right now, we're looking at mid to upper 40s to that mid to lower 50s. Your highs today, well, it's going to be another hot one, or a cooler one, actually. We're looking at upper 60s to that mid to lower 70s. Could see some 80s down to the south. And for your 10-day temperature trend here, we can see... A little bit cooler today. We'll have a dab of heat tomorrow into the area. Then we'll be back to those 60s. We'll see that trend back up. Maybe that rain come in this week. And then next week, we're right back into that 60s range average about this time of year. Trending up to the 70s sounds pretty pleasurable. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Thank you, Stone. And thank you for joining us on Good Day Dakota. Stay tuned for CBS Mornings. That's straight ahead.